and welcome back to, hi Matt, welcome back to Let's Play Ever Oasis. Alright, time to go finish up the uh, Temple of Trials. Actually, before we go, let me double check something. Who do I have in my party? Oh, right, you're out of the party. Who do I want to bring with me? I just really need someone who can hit hard. Uh, honestly, Miria. Yeah, you know what? Miria's kind of the perfect choice. Come along. Let's make sure our equipment is fully uh, updated. Alright, this team should be fine. Oh, there's also still that one treasure that we didn't get through the webbing. Actually, you know what? We'll go back for that at some other point. I'm pretty sure it's just like another silver slab. Alright, time to go fight the boss. Off to the center of the temple. We have the boss key. We've unlocked all the paths to the boss. So we should just be able to go straight there. So yeah, this boss. This boss is kind of annoying, but not too tough. I probably should have also made sure I restocked before we left. And we'll be fine. Let's get the boss key in, and let's go face it. Time to go see what the Guardian of the White Moonlight is like. I mean, it can't be too tough. We've already dealt with everything this... Actually, no, we did all actually die once in this dungeon. So it shouldn't be too bad. Let's see what's in store for us. Oh, I just remembered this boss. Well, not just remembered, but I just remembered the experience of finding this boss. So, yeah, this is the boss. He's some kind of... I think he's supposed to be a toad bat thing. He's definitely supposed to be based off a of toad. I know that much. Because he is the Petra Toad. Oh, he's a Pterodactyl and a Toad. Oh, God. That was a bad place to stand. He's a Pterodactyl and a Toad. So, yeah, pretty much what we need to do is hit him with all these bombs that are growing around the platform using Green Gale. And throughout the fight, he's just going to be throwing poison at us. And it's annoying, and I hate him for it. But yeah, bombs only grow on two sides, but if we hit the uh, center switch here, we can rotate the platform. Alright, let's get hit with this also. Oh my god. Did this battle always run so slowly on the 3DS? I don't remember it being this laggy. It might just be me. But yeah, I think the frame rate got cut in half for this section. That's fine. It's still workable. We just have to make sure we're careful. But yeah, three bombs should be enough to get him down from there. There we go. But yeah, that was the first stage of the battle. Not too horrible, but it can be a bit annoying just because the hitboxes on the bombs is kind of weird. Sometimes it looks like it should hit him, but it doesn't. Anyways, time for the real battle. Now that he's on the ground, he's going to be shooting... Oh god. He's going to be shooting balloons... Or not balloons, bubbles at us. And they tend to confuse our allies and us if we get hit by them, but they're heat pretty easy to avoid. He likes to slam us, and he has one more attack that he hasn't done yet. Oh, here we go. Yeah, that's his attack. His attack is his tongue. If he hits you with that, he'll eat you. Eating you, I think, just poisons you and does a ton of damage. Either way, we're just gonna make sure we don't stand in front of him ever. And we should be able to avoid that pretty easily. Also, bombs still work on him. They do about 200 damage apiece. Oh my god, yeah, this battle seems to run a lot worse than the original 3DS. It might just be my imagination. Oh god, he's got eaten. Nope. Okay, good. We avoided that. I'm kind of surprised our allies haven't gotten eaten yet. They tend to get eaten pretty often in this battle. Because their AI isn't very good at avoiding. Also, now that he's at low health, he'll do this over and over again. If we had a crossbow, we could just take him out right now. Well, we do have a crossbow user, but it doesn't matter. He's gone. So yeah, not too tough of a battle, but it can get kind of annoying if you accidentally get hit by any of his attacks. Just because it makes the battle take longer, because you're either confused or just out of the battle for a bit. Also, there's the fact that, for some reason, this battle is just a bit laggy on my part. Also, we got frog leather. Goody. But yep, that was the Temple of Trials. Let's get out of here. Actually, wait, am I still missing a section? Oh, I'm missing the last room, that's right. There's still one more room after this, the treasure room. There we go, 
There's still a couple of chests I need to go back for, but we can do that at some other point. They're mostly just crafting materials. Or, uh, slabs. Not really. Okay, yeah, I agree with the taste part, but he wasn't super tough. Alright, time to go find... What are we looking for again? Other than the Lumite? Oh, right, we were looking for the Great Sage, weren't we? To actually get the White Lumite. Well, I don't really see him in here. I do see a nice little mural. Let's go double check that. But yeah, it doesn't look like the Lumite's in here. Well, that explains where that giant obelisk at the Car Dunes are, is from. So yeah, pretty much that just warped us over here. Also, before I do anything, I'm just going to turn around and activate this warp point. Just in case I screw something up and I need to get back here. Because yeah, you can aqua gate out of here and then accidentally forget and accidentally erase the aqua gate. So the only way to get back here would be to go all the way through the dungeon again. Actually, it's not that long of a walk. Still, I would rather not have to do that. So yeah, now we can warp here at any point. Actually, wait. If we're at that giant obelisk, can I see my house from here? Oh, I can. Kinda. It's 11.20 at night, so it's kinda hard to see. Also, there's the fact that everything's purple because of the chaos. Man, this landscape looks really desolate at night. I think I'm gonna come back here once we get rid of the chaos and just see how it looks from here. Uh, during the day. Anyways, let's go. Time to go see the Great Sage. Oh, right. Kind of forgot that we still had one more uh, underling of shoot to deal with. We already killed the other two. But yeah, Sefa didn't actually die in that last battle. Also, I'm kind of glad I brought Mirio with me then. That was kind of an accident. I kind of forgot about uh, this scene. But yeah, Mira will still show up at the scene, but she just kind of runs through the game, just stands on the other side of it throughout the battle. Also, yeah, we're not gonna let that happen. I do think we get a little bit of extra dialogue by bringing Mira with us, just because they can actually interact. But yep, time for our final battle with, uh, Zepha. It's kind of the same as the last battle, except for the fact that she summons a bunch of Chaos Launchers for us to deal with. We're gonna get rid of these immediately. Because I would rather not have to fight the- Oh, nope, she's gonna hit me. I would rather not have to fight her while avoiding bullets. I think there's one more over here. Yep, there it is. Oh, ah, uh, no, get away from me. Mira, go deal with your sister. Distract her for me. Actually, this can let, they'll let me test out something real quick. So if I'm not looking at my teammates, will they still take- oh god. Will they still take damage, I wonder? Because yeah, she hits really hard if we let her. Mostly because she tends to combo us uh, with her attacks. She'll hit us once and then hit us with a bigger attack. Like that. Oh, whoops. Still, t uh, still too long. But yeah, Issa's at really low health now. Will she actually, like, go down if I don't look at her or keep her on screen? Because it's obvious that she can't really avoid attacks that well. Yeah, she's stuck at 1 HP right now, I believe. Yeah, oh, 12 HP. Actually, you know what? No, we'll test it out at some other point. Let's actually defeat her. So her battle is pretty much the same as before. I think she has one new attack. That's not her new attack. But I think she has one new attack that she can do. This is also not that's it. I don't remember if she used her shield against us last time. I don't think- actually no, I think last time we beat her so quickly that she couldn't use any attacks against us. Yeah, I'm gonna throw out a large vulnerary just in case. So yeah, basically her three attacks are that growing attack which can actually hit behind her. So it's annoying to stay behind her at all. Or it's usually a good idea to stay behind her, but not when she's doing that. Uh, her other big attack is like a big thrust attack that does a ton of damage. I think this is it. Nope, that's just her trolling attack again. She'll do it eventually. 
And then that's her last attack. She'll just block all damage from the front. It's easy enough just to get behind her. Actually, I think you can just use magic to get through that. Oh, there's that, her, her big attack. It's not really a thrust, actually. It's more of a downward swing. Oh, ow. I always forget that very last swing does a ton, has a ton of range. Alright, she shouldn't be too much or she, it shouldn't be too much harder from this point on. Pretty much just the same thing over and over again. She doesn't get any new attacks when she gets low on health, unlike most bosses. She is also technically a snake type monster. So if we had fought someone with dual blades, I'm pretty sure we could have just shredded through her defense. Oh, speaking of defense, let's actually get a buff up. Mira's not doing a whole lot though. You're at the perfect spot, just swing away. Oh wait, there's a bad spot to be. We're good. Oh, oh. Uh, hopefully she doesn't, she doesn't keep spawning that. That thing's annoying to get through. Especially since, yeah, Miria just does not want to fight right now, apparently. Oh god. Okay, fine, we'll finish it ourselves. Oh, never mind, she got the last hit in after all. Huh, that's kind of appropriate, actually. Well, at least she got back to her old self at the end. But with that, yeah, every single one of Shoot's underlings have now been defeated, huh? Actually, wait, have the other... I think we killed the other two. But now that she's gone, time to go find the Great Sage. Also our first Golden Slab. Fortunately, this isn't a dungeon. That would be kind of cruel if they had you do like two dungeons in a row. But this is the Realm of the Great Sage. It's uh, surprisingly barren in here. Actually, let's take a quick look upstairs. Oh yeah. Uh, we can't really crane our necks even further up. I wouldn't like to see how far up this goes, though. But yeah, the Great Sage is technically the entire pillar itself. Also named after the Egyptian god of knowledge. At least that's what I think Toth is. I forget what god he is. I just know he is an Egyptian god, though. Oh, yeah, that's true. I for I think someone mentioned that, that he was the one who started the whole Oasis thing. I think someone mentioned it in passing. But yep, he's pretty much the one who gave birth to the Oasis. The Oasis? Oh. Oh, dear. So this is his Oasis, huh? That's kind of grim, actually. Y yeah, we noticed. But it's time. Time to completely get rid of the chaos, at least for now. There it is. A lot bigger than I remember it being.
But yeah, with this, we should be able to finally banish the chaos off the Oasis. Time to go kick chaos off my out of my Oasis forever. Also, this is the side of your first oasis. That means there's water down there, isn't there? Oh yeah, you can kind of see the water. Is there a better place to look down there? Oh, I never noticed that before. Yeah, that would make sense that there would be water here. After all, oasis are based around their water. But yeah, now that we have the white Lumite, let's get back. Let's just go use the warp point. Time to go home. We got what we came for. Also, what time is it right now? I think we did all that at like 2 in the morning. Yeah, it's like 1 in the morning. Well, fortunately, Esna doesn't seem to sleep. Let's just get rid of the chaos right now and then we'll head to bed. Hey, guess what I got? Actually, no, you saw the entire thing. Never mind. You don't have to guess. Eh, we watery heart. Does not look good. Huh. So, we're getting a bit of a history lesson. Turns out, I guess all the races didn't really get along for a while. Oh, that really does not look good. So yeah, turns out Chaos was born from all of the races not really getting along very well. Although, to be fair, the Durok seem to be getting the short end of the stick in that story. Like, they didn't do anything wrong. They were just kind of oppressed by the seedlings. Well, there is one hope. Apparently the answer is rain. Which makes sense in the desert. Water is life. And yeah, that was the past. That's not where we're going now. Now we kind of need to all stand together. But it's time to do this. Time to get rid of the chaos for good around the oasis.
There we go. So yeah, those claws that have been at the Oasis' gate for the last month or so, finally gone. And with that, Chaos is gone forever from the Oasis, uh, Oasis at least. We don't have to worry about it ever taking over again. There is still one more thing we have to deal with. Also, now we can revive three times. We don't really need that power at this point because we are at the end game. So yeah, even though the chaos is gone, that hole is still there. Alright, let's get out of here. Do we still have one more scene out here? Yeah, we still have one more scene. At least the sky is clear now. For once, it is very calm. Chaos is gone. We don't have to worry about that anymore. But yeah, we still need to deal with Shoot before he actually brings it back somehow. He does still- oh right, he still has the black one. And I remember it, Lily. That makes one of us. They tend to explode. Oh, yeah, that was... that didn't end so well. I don't know, we should probably honestly still kind of fear it a bit. There's a difference between bravery and just... Nah, I don't know what the word is. But no, we need to deal with this permanently. Still, it is a really nice moon out tonight. Has it been a full moon this entire game, I wonder? Huh, I think it has been a full moon the entire time. But yeah, with that, chaos is gone forever. At least for now. There's still one more thing, like I said, we need to do, and that's actually head to the final battle. So let's actually go check out that hole real quick, uh, at the center of the oasis. Because it's still there. There's no more chaos flowing out of it anymore, but at some point we need to- oh, bro, wrong way. We need to go down there and deal with shoot. But we're not going to be doing that right away. There are still a few things I want to do before we head down. Like, actually recruit everyone who's come to visit. And see if I can grab as many people as possible, just so I can get uh, as high of an oasis level as possible. But here we go. There it is. We're not hanging down there quite yet, though. Because, yeah, this is the point of no return. Once you go down there, you cannot save, and there is no way to come back. So if we go down there, we're going to have to make sure we're fully equipped and are fully stocked. Because, yeah, there's also no way of healing down there without healing items. But we'll worry about that later. So, next time on Let's Play Ever Oasis, time to go prepare. And recruit. Mostly recruit. And maybe throw a party or two before we head down. So, till then.